Good evening, good evening, and welcome to another segment of the New Black Leadership Coalition here live in the great studio of Intellectual Radio. My name is Gregory Sane, and I am the host of the most for a great, great cause, and that is the New Black Leadership Coalition. I'd like to thank all of our co-founders and associates and all of you all that are tuning in tonight via iHeartRadio, Facebook Live, Periscope, YouTube, and some of those that are here live inside of the studios. It is my honor and it is a blessing yet again to have this golden opportunity to speak to you over these precious, precious airwaves that we take very, very serious. And I hope that you would share right now before I get started with my commentary, expecting a very powerful guest, um, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. will be here in a very uh, few minutes. He'll be here very shortly. And uh, but I want you to share because I want people to hear this commentary tonight. And it's coming straight from the heart as it's unrehearsed. But I felt like I wanted the spirit to move me since it's a big so-called day tomorrow. And all the stuff that I've heard some of it today and just doing this whole election cycle. And I just wanted to say something to uh, you all in the audience. And I'm sure. Um, it would be a few messages for some individuals that um, they make my stomach turn when I hear them uh, on some of the commercials. So I, I and I want to just start off saying I thank almighty God. That we do as a coalition and you all as folks viewing this, we thank the creator for blessing us with the love uh, of God, the love of family, the love of self, the love of community, the love of humanity. We thank him for the tenacity. We thank him for the courage. We thank him for the conviction. We thank him for the insight. And we thank him for uh, submitting to leadership and voices of guidance that have gotten us to where we are now. And we thank the creator. And I think all of you all should thank the creator because uh, it's, 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 it's very important that we understand and we have a voice uh, like none other. I mean, I hear a bunch of people and they have some huge followings, but the, the foundation that we have is very, very strong. And that's one of the things you have to, you, you know, you have to ask yourself the question, how strong is your foundation and will you survive? How strong is your foundation? So today in the commentary, I wanted to say this, and I want to say it so bad that um, we've you've heard me say this, and it's not uh, something that I came up with, but it's readily quoted by the wise. And it was from the Honorable Brother Minister Farrakhan, who said, politics without economics is symbol without substance. Politics without economics is symbolic without an economic plan. And what I, why I'm saying this is if in fact I hear so many of you all, you like to connect uh, our sojourn, you like to connect the sacrifices um, the big, big sacrifices of our people who lost their life in the struggle, and you like to connect voting with it and without putting a, a, a backdrop to the vote. It wasn't just blindly voting, but it was voting with a purpose, organized a uh, force, an organized vote that would 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 usher in um some some gains for us, not just crumbs. And so, you know, for the last few days, I heard a couple of commercials. Uh, and 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 and, and Jesse White, please stop it with that music. 
in the background. You got a church singing. I mean, it's almost like they shuffling and uh, in the, in, on, on a slave ship or in the slave quarters. And, and, and you sing and you got the people that you back. It. Why is that necessary? Man, I, I swear, brother, and, and I really do love you. Uh, you and Danny, but I don't even want to hear y'all voices, man. Y'all, it irks me. Y'all sound so slave-like. No real man. Where is you all integrity at, man? I mean, you can vote for who you want. But when you sound like you selling your soul and when you look at all of the votes and the voting we've been doing, I want to see if, in fact, why you all in these back rooms and you endorsing candidates? Let's see if it changes the reality. Where's the energy? Where's the love? Where's the conviction when it comes to saying, now that we could do this, let's do some economic things. Let's unify. Let's get in the same room and decide how much farmland we want to buy. So you don't want to do that. That's what makes you silly. You you making it an urgent matter that if you vote, if you don't vote, it's the end of the world. I didn't see any of the politicians at any white churches. They stopped at all of the black churches, but no, no white churches. I'm telling you all and you all that claim to be so politically sophisticated and politically, you know, advanced man. I promise you, if you see a drastic change in the quality of life for poor black people after the election, then I'll say, man, it's a life and death situation. Vote, vote, vote. Yeah, vote. But don't be unintelligent. Don't be unwise because you're going to be disappointed because at the end of the day, there were some people brokering. They've been brokering for black people. They're not being honest with you. They don't represent the community. They represent themselves. And they do it real good. They fool you. They make you think that they all about changing the quality of life, the condition for the people. No, they not. How the hell can you change the condition for our people and you don't have an economic program? We've been voting. We got a lot of black elected officials. Look around the black community. So you tell me who going to help build that back up and why would they? You've been in a room talking about how we're going to develop Roseland. You've been in a room talking about how we're going to develop Inglewood. You've been in a room talking about how we're going to develop the West Side. No, you have not. You've been in a room trying to get that bag. You got some of the little soldiers out doing your dirty work. You all should be ashamed of yourself if you don't find a way to empower poor black people. And I'm going to be watching because there's no accountability. There's no accountability. I mean, we should be, I mean, totally disturbed and bothered by folks who act as though it's life and death. Look at the so-called democracy that we live in. I mean, I was listening to some stations. Baby, they didn't even have no talk show. It was all commercials. This is a season to make a whole lot of money. I mean, the stations that's broke, they've been making a whole lot of money. A poor person can't even come on and run, it against, run against the millionaire and the billionaire. See, that's the world we live in. Even if you're a legit candidate. If you don't have any money, forget about it. Is that democracy? No. You're behind the elections and you done bought a lot of people. But if you're going to be bought, it should be for a higher price than what you're selling your soul for. I mean, if you're going to make that type of transaction, it shouldn't be for some crumbs. 
It should be for liberation. It should be for poor people that you can say, man, we got some land and territory that we can call our own. Finally. You're not running for leadership. You're running for a job, some of you all. When are you going to be a servant to the people? I mean, oh man, I see my guest, the, yes, my sir. brother, my friend. Yes, sir. The one I see and you only, on. the chairman, brother Fred Hampton. Man, I'm I'm on. It's hey. a no soapbox, man. I'm just I, I'm I'm livid because I mean, you know, every time I hear some of these slave commercials, man, they should be ashamed <laughs> of themselves. Well, and you, I didn't hear none of them coming to brother Farrakhan's defense. I heard some of the ones who claimed to be all about black people denouncing, repudiating. See, that's the kind of stuff you got to be called on the carpet, man. You ain't trying to help black folks. You ain't trying to help poor people. You don't give a damn about humanity. This is all a little game. Yes, Jesse went up to a couple of schools and got some seniors. When have you got the seniors, man, and took them on Wall Street? Black Wall Street, brother. You ain't about that. And y'all know doggone well, this thing is about money. Big money now. Big, big money. That's why when the, the next time the new black leadership have our quarterly round table, I'm telling you, we're going to count and see who's in who's in the room and who's missing. Since you running around acting as though you represent us, telling black people who to vote for. And y'all all divided. That ain't showing no strength. You can't, we can't get behind one person. And then you selling people that folks say they, they ain't about zero. But anyway, I had to get that out because some of you are, you embarrassing, man. I mean, you're embarrassing. I love you, brother Cliff, but them little softball questions you be asking them, man, stop it. Put some pressure on them when you got them right there. You let them out the easy way. They just come on <laughs> and lie right there. Yeah. Oh, you great. Oh, you wonderful. How? Great doing what? They might be wonderful uh, con men. <laughs> but as far as showing integrity man we need integrity we need unity and we need a collective effort to get us out of this condition and it ain't about just all of a sudden you know you you do this on wednesday you don't hear from none of them again let's see what happens on wednesday anyway brother friend I just said to him, brother, uh, bring me a cup of water here because, hey, the mic is hot already. I said, hey, <laughs> hey, yes, indeed. What's up, brother Fred? Hey. And I know, man, I, your, your father, the great honorable chairman, Fred Hampton, had a very smart political mind. And, and I know you know his platform and yeah. why they stood up for our people fighting. And they wasn't about just selling their soul. Yeah. What was his platform, brother? And and you know and that he stood firm on. Black Panther Party. You know, they, they they literally turned the communities into classrooms. And the deal was, it was not just when it was quote unquote politically correct, or uh, when election time came up, or what have you. Consistently serving the people. You know, you know, what I'm saying not you know, what I'm saying not when the um, um, issue became a, um, a, a political football, for lack of better terms. You know what I'm saying? And, and just, just to go back, just touch on some of the stuff you just pointed out, which in contrast to that, they were applicable to the to the to the community and the people can relate to these they, they were not detached. A lot of these, a lot of these politicians that you talk that you hear about, you know what I'm saying? It's the first and last time, like you just mentioned, you'll see them. You know what I'm saying? Right. During election time, what's election time, whatever the case may be. Pop up doing a blood billing parade, throw some shirts out there to the children right there, you know, and it's it's, it's insulting, you know what I'm saying? And then like even them the trivial type of discussion that they devalue our community too where we you know how does this person look so on and so forth as opposed to other communities to my tangible concrete you know policies you know, how does it you know impact them the, the black panther party you know, we, we say it's a tough act to follow with the black panther party because 
again, turn the community to the classroom and broke it down in lamest terms so that people can come through and say, I'm having I'm having this issue, you know what I'm saying? Whether it you know, in regards to the slum lords in our community, whether it you was know, the, 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 uh, the uh, inadequate, uh, inadequate health care, the conditions in the schools, you know, day-to-day -day situations, they, they, they didn't wait for the ruling, the media to come out and say it's a hot subject and somebody said, okay, I'm going to run against this, so on and so forth. But again, it was something that people can relate to. Yeah, and you said consistency. Consistency, yes. Sir. Yes, real talk. Real talk. You know, we say, in fact, today we say with, on our mattress with the Black Panther Party Cubs, we say our work hours are 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The, uh, our desk is that concrete out there. Uh, our secretaries are those brothers and sisters you see out there on, on, on the corners. And, um, and, and, you know, and we do more work before 10 in the morning before the Marines or any of these elected officials do it more time period. Man, the relationship Joe Pop and the other Panthers <laughs> built with us as a young boy they build relationship with us. Yeah. So if they needed us to be involved with, say, politics or be involved with a project, you know, to make a difference, they had already fed us. And they didn't ask for Real nothing talk. back, brother. When I went to the church yeah. over there on State and had breakfast, yeah. hey, bro, they could have asked me to do anything yeah. in terms of, hey, go clean up. The community they was always motivating and inspiring me to make sure, brother, if you see a sister with some bags, grab the yeah. bags and et cetera. That's the kind yes. of lessons and the mentoring that I got from them. Yes. But it was consistent. consistent. And it's important that we distinguish politics from electoral politics. Because, again, you know, we, we position that everything is political. Words, terms, fashion, music, you name it. You know what I'm saying? In uh, discussion of electoral politics, it got to be got to be some clarity, especially in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Frank Sinatra said that was this kind of town. He meant it, gangster, gangster. The, you know, this this is the city where they other uh um uh, other cities and other locales make jokes about it. They say Al Capone is still on the on on um the, the, the voting poll. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so you so the type of cutthroat type of stuff that goes on in, in the city of Chicago, you know, hey, is mind blowing. So and, and, and it's a phenomenon that. As you said earlier, I thought it came in at the end of it. We just can't always, you know, detach from it like it doesn't exist. But however, we have to become a force to be reckoned with, so we, you know, so we can come Absolutely. with some demands, as opposed to just saying open, you know, well, you know, uh, whoever feel, you know, feel free to work, work, work us. So, in fact, we had struggles from years back with that voter die campaign. Right. That that position it, it implies an absolute, like it's just a foregone conclusion that we know we gonna vote or die. No, you don't. You don't approach a relationship like that. You don't say, okay, I'm just gonna. A sister, a sister just can't say, I'm gonna go with any man that comes. You know what I'm saying? You have to up the ante. So, you know, so now he, you know, say, okay, he had to come with a criteria, some, some resume, roses, whatever the case may be. We have to have a a a, a, a fourth we reckon with with any whatever. Um, political uh, or electoral political field, uh, partisan politics they represent, Democrat, Republican, whatever, what, what have you, that they come to us with some respect. But again, electoral political field, like every other genre, our people are treated as the Rodney Danger fields of all races. We're drawn as a foregone conclusion. They, they, they just, they just, they can give us the chitlins uh, of, of every conversation, every, every mute, every genre, music. You know, say, okay, they'll take it. You know, what I'm saying the politicians, they'll take it. We say stuff like, well, the lesser two evils. The other, the other communities have evil. You don't have. You know, if, 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 you, if we get that point, we should be just. I mean, I mean, don't put it out there up front. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like you don't get, no, you get no fight. You don't say, well. I know I'm gonna get beat. No, hold on. No, don't don't advertise it. <laughs> you know, don't telegraph it. I love your analogy <laughs> of, of of this whole thing with a woman in terms of you know uh, any man. No, she had to. You had to come home and meet the family. Real talk. When Real now talk. folks going to get married and you know they you just pop up and nope that person hasn't been uh, uh, at Nothing. all at all at all you know, at all. No introduction, but it's, you know it's interesting that you had mentioned uh, the Bud Billiken parade. I was thinking about that when when they when I heard somebody say, "You know they're gonna paint the water green," and and so the Irishmen they have a parade to celebrate their heritage. Yeah, we got a parade to celebrate something fictitious. Yeah, Bud Billiken. Yeah. A fictitious. See, that's how crazy we, and we still allow that foolishness. Oh, it's for the kids, like Santa lies for the kids. Did when we gonna throw off Did this do. monkey of world. foolishness? We'll never be able to see liberation and freedom until we stop doing dumb, stupid stuff that does not have any history connected to our struggle. Everybody else celebrating theirs in a very wise way. 
we got a fictitious character, but Billiken. And then I see a girl in Walgreens and she got the green. And you know, that should be as if you want to wear it. But then she didn't dye her hair. And then I asked, did you dye your hair red, green, and black during Black hmm. History Month? Yeah. She said, like, oh, when, when is that? You should. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I mean, not that it's some symbolic, because everybody play with dashikis yeah. and all that stuff now, because, you know, it's, it's 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 all a game. It's commercialized. Other com other people can, you know, they can afford the luxury, you know what I'm saying? Like, even with the St. Patrick's Day, the, uh, down water green, so on and so forth, because reality is, in particular Chicago, we, 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 we grew up even it was common. In fact, this is, I'm sure it's still practice now. You will hear different people saying when you go vote for the judge, vote for the judge with the Irish name. See, they have it's they have pride, they pride, and they have they have policies and they have actual tangible, you know, saying people in places that, that, that impact their community that that correlate that can trickle down how much resources they will get for the tip, yeah. the, the, the uh, tax tax increment funds. You know, saying what type of condition their schools gonna be? Then they can afford these type of dynamics to you know, play these games. But the deal is, we we can't Teach. afford to, to play these Wakanda games. You know, you know, you know uh, these these uh, abstract, you know, you know, um, uh, just, just just abstract dream without no 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 uh, connection to no concrete reality. I remember when I was in Stateville, um, we call it Deathville, and there's one of the prison guards that asked these guys. He said, "Ever since he came, Mr. Hampton came over here. Y'all didn't change." He said, "What happened? To, you know, to the dream?" And you know, and, and the brother said, "We woke up." He said, we Jeez. woke up. You know, he says, y'all been, been beating us all the time now. And you know what I'm saying? And y'all come through, drop us a couple of pieces, extra piece of fried chicken. Y'all beat us beat us down on uh, Tuesday, bring fried chicken on Wednesday. He said, you know what I'm saying? It's been happening, but he said, we woke up. And, that, and that's the deal. We can, you know, and I know this term woke, like a lot of terms, and then got so watered down. But I'm not talking about woke in just some abstract type of way that people just say, okay, I'm conscious. I can read this. I know there's different words and terms. But be able to connect to concrete, tangible conditions. That's what other communities talk about. You know, you, you hear them different politicians from their different communities. They want to know. You know, talking about how this politician looks, how you know how he dresses, so on and so forth. How, man, how does it impact their schools? How, how does it impact if they're gonna eat or not? You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the deal. We gotta we gotta come to grips with. In particular, us, our people in Chirac. What's going on with us? We can't afford the luxury to be, to, to, uh, be sidetracked with no uh, uh, Wakanda game and no other type of game. We can do the real world. Man, I know your father is so proud and all of the members, man, of the Black Panthers, the real Black Panther. They got to be so proud of you, brother. I mean, when I hear you articulate the way you do and, you know, and what you went through down in Deathville, as you call it. It's amazing, man. Um, the the strength by the by the grace and mercy yes, and protection man. and guidance of Almighty God. But bro, I am I, I when I see you, I am so thankful, man. You know that that you hear. Yeah. Do you have any? You have any children? I got I got one daughter. You got a daughter? Yes. And I don't take it for granted. Um, that I, you know, that I am here, and I just, and I, and I feel so fortunate and honored is not to walk in the uh, footsteps. We said to walk in the Panther Paul steps, and, and I'm constantly reminded. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like I tell you, with the, with the Panther Party with his legacy. Um, I recollect with the uh, late great Field Marshal George Jackson of the Black Panther Party. He said, he said, uh, had it not been for the Black Panther Party, he feared what have have happened to him. And without you know without this you know I said the funeral services at Stanley Stanley Tookie Williams, I said Tookie Williams grew up in a climate similar to that I grew up in, deprived of such an organization, the Black Panther Party, where the only options in life was to become a Boy Scout or a banger. And I am so I'm, I mean I'm uh, so honored again I'm so homeless to the Black Panther Party club. And I'm you know, constantly reminded. What's at stake here? It's like it's like a, give, give give another knowledge about a relationship. Like a relationship, sometimes you know you, could, you know take your lady or sister could take her guy for granted. Like okay, you know that, that we here. When you see everybody keep coming at them, right? You right, say I right, almost got right. something. I almost got something special here. Right, right. When I see the continuous attacks on the Black Panther Party, when I see about you know what I'm saying the the uh, uh the, the law enforcement shooting up the tombstone of Chairman Fred Hampton down in Haynesville, Louisiana, when I know about the um. Uh, six months additional time they hit you with in places like Menard, if you could call a photograph of me or Chairman Fred Hampton. When I hear about, you know what I'm saying, I'm constantly reminded, when I'm in police stations, they still have fresh photographs of Chairman Fred Hampton. When I hear right now, today as we speak, at the childhood home 
Oh, Chairman Fred, we grew up at not in Maywood, Illinois. Maywood, Illinois. We grew up at not too far from not here. too far from where we at. When I see the continuous attack as we speak right now to, to salt the earth, and when we say salt the earth, y'all, you know, it's, it's a war tactic. You know, when they come, when, when you were here, Rome and other uh conquering entities they come through they would say they, you know, they, they would strategically say okay after after they slaughtered and, and um uh raped and pillaged the community they say okay make sure we they salt the earth they they literally salted where you can't grow crop crops for, for seven for years to come in our movements I, and i was in the oakland california in west oakland me and the nephew of minister uep newton uh the son of melvin newton Mel, 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 brother we were talking about the history of west oakland how it was strategically flooded with dope you know what I'm saying? And that's what the party was really, that was they was really getting down at, you know right, saying, right, West right. Oakland. Then correlated to, I remember some years back, at the exact site where Chairman Fred uh, and Defense Captain Mark Clark were assassinated at, 2337 West Monroe, we call it Chairman Fred Hampton Way. At that same site, some years back, over two decades ago, I'm talking to these young brothers, and these brothers, they was hustling, they was they was peddling right there in that, in that, that same location. And I approached them, I said, y'all know the significance of this place? And when I talked to him, they said, you know what, Chairman? The police don't harass us right here. If we go next door, they was harassing us. They said, we, 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 did not know, we did not know the significance of it. We know now. Told they guys, hey, we out of here. They said, man, this, this, oh, is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is significant. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and it was an attempt to salt earth right now in Maywood, Illinois, 804, 804 South 17th Avenue. That was where Chairman Fred grew up at. He had two siblings. The last sibling just passed. I mean, like it, like matter within a matter of minutes. You, I mean, it was it was like they filming for a New Jack City movie. It, you, know, you know what I'm saying? It was strategic to salt the earth. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the hit the land. You know what I'm saying? To take away the legacy. What happened with Chairman Fred? We've been right there holding the ground right there. We got we got a campaign you know, to say that to say the house with Chairman Fred. And so many contradictions have been coming out. And I, like I said back to what I said earlier, it's a constant reminder. Why? What? What? This this individual was 21 years old when he was assassinated. Why did I get suspended from grammar school for just mentioning his writing, mentioning his name in, 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 in uh, write-ups and reports? Why do they do not want us to know about the Black Panther Party? Why is it pushed to the side? Why if it's why is why was so much invest resources invested? Why with this last movie? They, they why did why the movie wasn't entitled Wakanda? Why was it entitled Black Panther? Why is it a continuous attempt on this legacy? And again, I'm reminded we got something here. Hey, brother, why was Jesus? dealt with the way he was why was moses why was marcus garvey why was harriet tubman you know with a price tag on her head why was the honorable elijah muhammad you know seen as an enemy why was malcolm x why is the honorable minister louis farrakhan why is anybody stokely kwame Ture? i mean anybody that is making a difference represents a threat to the 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 the, the power struggle yeah. or, or 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 the uh, um, not the just the power struggle, but those that control this whole little place they call democracy in terms of handing out the goods and services and just being in control. And so it, it's really wicked. Is it, I mean, it's wicked to. I'm so thankful that I love him. I go live and tell him I love that man. And if anybody ever came up to me. I can actually, I would be a great candidate. <laughs> if they came up to me and said, man, you know about that, that man, Fred Hampton. I said, and I say, just like they said when it came to Jesus, I said, I don't know what you talking about, but I swear to God, when I was hungry, he fed me. <laughs> oh, uh, y'all can say anything you want to say bad about him. But look, me, me and Minister Mike, Mike was the youngest uh, student minister you know, from high school, Jesus. you can say what you want to say about the minister, but you bet not say it in his face and he Jesus. can defend him Jesus. because of what he got, what we got from all of those men, not just him, Jesus. but every mentor, your dad, amen, Dick Gregory, Baba Dick Gregory. I mean, it's Steve Coakley. Yeah, I love Steve Coakley. I love Jesus. Steve Coakley. Why should I not love him? And you gotten us, you know, loving people that hated us. Hmm. And you worshiping them, naming streets and buildings Man. after them. But yet, you know, throwing salt on black leaders who stood up to racism and white supremacy is sick. And you can never be a leader. And God going to punish you 
and he's going he gonna to keep you in the place that you're in because you're a coward and you're afraid to relate to strong black men and women mm. that have put their life on the line and they stood up. He stood up like nobody else, man. That's a real soldier yeah. for God. That wasn't just a soldier because he was angry. Yeah. He was mad at the world. Hell, we all supposed to be mad. Yeah. I'm mad every day I wake up. I'm mad. People are like, man, you got a job. You got a nice car. You know, you got. And, hmm. and what is that? What is that? All that stuff is going to pass on. Hmm. And so are we. So that means you're going you gonna to just totally, you know, jack off this life just so that you can have some damn material crumbs? Hmm. How stupid. How silly. How immature. How weak, man. Yep. Your father, that legacy man lives today. And if it were not for him, a lot of these little, uh, uh, little groups who, you know, don't even give credit yep. to the man. Yeah. You know, and you know, and even some of them that call themselves that they some of them need to sit down. Real talk. Do they check Real in talk. with you? Listen, hey, we don't cut no corners. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we, hey, we we don't we cross all colonial borders. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to the legacy of Chairman Free and the Black Panther Party, whether it be the, the false flaggers, the opportunists, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we hey, we expose them, pull the covers up. We don't cut no corners about this legacy. And it's you know, and it's and like and it's, and it's a logical question. You say, do they check in? You, you, you say, okay, how you like well, I'm doing my own type of way. It's I mean, it's not no, you don't you don't go to no auto mechanics store and say, well, I'm you know, I'm I'm on the I'm, I got a, I needed a, a distributed cap, you know, you say, what whatever car you got, you uh well. I really don't want to talk about that. No, it's it's a it's a definition for a Chevrolet. It's a definition for the Black Panther Party. You know, what I'm it was a structured organization. You, you know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things I really pride about. And I'm not set tripping, but I, I you know, uh, I, I really pride about Chicago. You know, it's, it's corroded to a point. But however, that structure, that you know, what I'm saying this is one. Of, and, and, and the deal is, we have been impacted by this being one of the most Chicago being one of the most segregated cities within the country, and it's it's pros and cons to that. Some people call it clickish, or whatever. However. It's a dynamic where Kelly ain't gonna have have to have on no colors, but you could pick up on okay, this is such and such. This is what this is this is associated this particular organization. You know what I'm saying? And that's important. And see, structure, Amer one of America's policies is to create chaos and then restore order. A lot of the contradiction that you see people have other places is because of lack of structure. You feel what I'm saying? See, I, I have very few disappointments. Like I think we, we say the term sellout. That's one of the most overused terms in our community. Because I said the people, who you, who, people who you reference as sellouts, they are, you know, say all through the, through all the system. You go back and check their they birth certificate, the res, uh, 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 the maternity ward. You see what they was on back then. So like, even in Chicago, is certain organizations and individuals who you who you can mention their name, and that tells a lot about you. You, you know what I'm saying? Because of the structure that we have here. I recall I was in Philadelphia, and um. I went to the sister too. I said, take me to the barber shop. Jim dropped to drop me to the barber shop or the pool hall or something so I can get a feel on the community. And then she had uh she said, okay, it's a barber shop down here. Went to this barber shop, it's about 17 uh chairs um about the barber shop. So we're going there. So she so the, the brother, the, well, the individual, I'm I'm real cl clear on my terms. The individual she takes me to. <laughs> we go there, he said he cut me up. He asked me about, about different cats in Chicago. You know, and he's, you know, you're making reference. So when we leave out, I tell her sister, I say, next time, could you recommend somebody that's not a stool pigeon? And she said, how did you know? She said, wow. how did you know that? And she said, people have been saying that <laughs> about him. I say, Damn. the individuals who he related to, who he spoke about, and who he spoke about with reverence in Chicago. See, we, it's, it's a, you know, say, it's, it's a, it's a clarity, you know, in that structure, like I say, so with the, with the Black Panther Party. It's certain, you can, can sell <laughs> certain things, you, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it. It's, that, that, that structure, again, it, it, it lessens disappointments, you know what I'm saying? So again, yeah, I, I I love that. Last about a month ago, I guess it was a month. It could have been a little over a month ago. I was in Philly. Mm -hmm. I was in a barbershop. shop. Did, yeah. and I was sitting in the barbershop. shop. Um, I'm never quiet, mm -hmm. but I was sitting there, and it was a conversation going. And my friend Terry Rice, boom shaker, he was getting his hair cut, mm -hmm. and. Uh, they was in a real deep conversation about the struggle and blah. And he looked over at me. He was like, y'all just keep going. He ain't going to be able to sit there for long. Yeah. Boy, the minute I opened my mouth, yeah. by the grace of almighty God, 
I literally took over the whole conversation and all of the <laughs> weak ones that was in the room. I shut them down because they want to lead and and put that that weak, cowardly stuff yeah. out there. And, and it's like they don't want to they don't want to talk from a position of strength. No, you know, yeah. and, and, and I think about, you know, J. Edgar Hoover. Mm -hmm. I mean, J. Edgar Hoover, uh, uh, a criminal, a criminal. Mm -hmm. Yes, a criminal mm -hmm. no of the it. worst kind. Yes. Got the audacity to listen to our conversations on the television. Why the hell you wire tapping? Mm -hmm. Some listen to your own wickedness. Mm -hmm. You probably heard more humanity when you listen in mm -hmm. on Chairman Fred, mm -hmm. and because he was always talking about what else he could do to make a difference. They wasn't on no phone planning and plotting yeah. to do anything negative. The Nation of Islam, as long as Minister Farrakhan been here in Chicago since 77, ain't no Nation of Islam member been doing nothing negative in terms of hurting other people. Always been trying to be upstanding. No, ain't nobody perfect. People make mistakes. People do silly stuff. But under his leadership, it's been the epitome of integrity. And they know it. But yet you want to paint black leaders, men and women, in some, that's a game. That's a scheme. That's a scam. That's part of the, you know, I, that's part of the, you know, uh, propaganda. And our people have to, we have to, we have to, we have to heighten it. We have to heighten the contradictions to the point that we, we come with a, um, a confidence and a cockiness, like like we say, our people in particular, we we the we the OVs, not the OGs, the, the original victims of terrorism. Teach. So we had to set set a climate where you know, what I'm saying with, with, with these criminals, they, they reiterate what you just said, Jagger Hoover and these criminals, these criminals, it, it shouldn't even be a a a, a, a side tracking of the slave. We trying to prove our morality to, to you know, what I'm saying to these yeah. criminals. You know what I'm saying, yeah, it's, it's, it's like you we have to up. It's like a, we have to. Uh, I, I recall this situation in Detroit. Um, where they had murdered uh, pigs. They murdered his brother Malice Green, and it, they, they, you know, the media went to they 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 they, they pushed their propaganda where he was getting half heroin, and so on and so forth. The people had got to the point where they said, "We don't care if he was half crack. Don't convict them police and see how we get out." That's a, the type of see the type of position our people that we have to up the ante. It's kind of like. Um, that was uh, John Walsh, the uh, the miracle most wanted. They had this lady, uh, Sandra Levy, was missing one time, and she she was a uh, an intern, and he was making jokes about what you know, what really what the intern right. is really doing in Washington D.C. And somebody called in and asked, why was she with this con congressman conduit? John Walsh said, wait a minute, hold it, this young lady is missing. Stop it. It wasn't gonna be no sidetracking on that. But what our people. You know what I'm saying? We would, our people, our leadership, every it's always this sad tracking of the slave. It was Rodney King? Was he speeding? You know what I'm saying? It takes you off. The track, you know what I'm saying? It's a it's, game. It's like we shouldn't even give more energy to it. You know? when, when they locked, when they when they when they, when they, when they, when they, when they gave me that Trump up case in 1992, when they said I the firebomb the Korean owned stores in South Side Chicago, when that state's attorney Mary Lace and the judge and them they come on to my with, with does Fred Hampton uh, do this? this our position, position was free Fred Hampton Jr. Exclamation point. Yeah. A exclamation. Hey, and bro, they anti-black. You'll be all anti, day. Anti-right. You, so, you'll be on, all day trying to figure out, okay, well, I heard I heard that you failed uh, algebra as a freshman in high school. But you know what I'm saying? That, uh, your mother's last name different than your, 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 your little brother's last name. All this, these trivial pursuits. You know what I'm saying? You, by the time you get hip to it, you'll be in the graveyard. We have to take a position. You know what I'm saying? But it's the opposite, Fred, for yeah. when a white Man. Oh what? I mean, they go and pull what? out his record, oh, and, and and look, you just said something deep. My mother sending me down on 49th Street, and I got a little envelope piece of paper. She was playing policy, you know. I didn't know what policy yeah. was. They made it all illegal. Right. They got lottery now, you know. Yeah. My granddad in Greenville, Mississippi, he riding across the the fields with, with corn liquor. Yeah. They got it all in yeah. Kenwood yes, now. Indeed. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And the Kennedys got merchandise marked oh, yes, as yes. a result of liquor. Then all of a sudden, look how many black males incarcerated. Three strikes you out, Mr. Clinton, for oh, we, no. for we. So now all of a sudden it's medicinal. Yeah. Man, you damn hypocrites. And then yeah. every time I hit him, try to put this negative narrative on us, 
you know, as though, you know, by nature. No, that's a game. And they know they lying. And it's just unfortunate that our people get caught up with that little trick that they do. And let, let it be understood. This not this, this not just some sort of emotional trip that we all say, it, it, uh, like you know, the words that say hurt our feelings, but the generational wealth. You know, saying the, 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 or they, they take on, they, they, they benefit from uh, generation after generation. The amount of cases, a lot of people still locked up from this. You know, what I'm saying whether it's the, 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 her, the heroin. You know, what I'm saying, but now they refer to it as the uh, opioid crisis. You, you feel what I'm saying? What happened to comedian, com comedian Jenny Richard Pryor say white people can ride through our neighborhoods and we have dope, dope needles in our arms, and that's a, mm, that's a, that's a shame. But they'll come home and their son come on the front porch with a can of Budweiser beer, and they say, "Oh my God, it's an epidemic." Even to the point that we start even sympathize with other communities. You know what I'm saying? I, I recall in Stateville again, uh, uh, Deathville, we just said, uh, they, the, the, uh, they had actual footage of, of our people in Rwanda, thousands of bodies floating, you know, the carnage floating in the water. And the brother in the cell, you know, he had you know, uh, he, no response. Then they showed a movie called The Diary of Anne Frank. About right, 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 These right. are actors. This, 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 this was actresses and actors in here. And the brother in the cell with me literally had tears in his eyes. So I'm thinking that I said, did the mail come? He got some bad mail come in. What, what, you know, some bad word from the streets. What happened? He said, man, you don't see this. I said, what you mean? He said, you don't see this. I said, I just, you, you didn't, you was cold. You didn't drop a tear when they just showed you our people in Rwanda. You know, you know what I'm saying? But it's man, it has, man, it has that is strategically with the propaganda. We are related to other people's pain. You, I mean, in the first time our children even seen the, the president of, uh, of the United States even drop a tear, uh, President Barack Obama, uh, Barack Obama, Sandy Hook, Connecticut, all that carnage, all them, all that death in Chirac, ain't seen a tear drop. The first time our people, our people seen the superintendent of Chicago police cry when the white police commander Barrow was, was shot. All you know, what I'm saying this is a message. You know, what I'm saying this is when you, 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 our people, how, how we, how we value ourselves. You and know they, what I'm and saying? Let me tell you something. They know, bro. Yeah. All of a sudden, Bill Cosby back in the news. Bill Cosby. Hey, look, we have utmost respect for women, and no man should violate no woman. Period. Yeah, but Mr. Harvey Weinstein. Uh, you could put Bill Cosby. See, that's the game that they play. It's double standard and 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 we don't put this out uh here like we doing yes. then the people don't know we just walking around man as though we don't know that this stuff is going down and as you just said it's a game yes. it, and it, and it, and it's real real dangerous i mean the clan still exists the Aryan nation still exists. The skinhead is still out there. I mean, you got a clown for the president of the United States who said what he does to women. And golly, he ain't in court. And you want to bring Bill to court. All of a sudden, OJ running through the airport. You know, Hurst rent a car. Now you hate him. Mm -hmm. Now, had that been Shug, you know, involved, huh? Hmm. If it would have been Sugar hey, Willa May, well, hey Paul, he still have his commercials. Paul Mooney made a comment about uh, about Woody Allen. <laughs> Damn you know, man, hey, he said Woody Allen, all the stuff he been doing, you know. <laughs> hey, but the, 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 bro, I'm, not it, just them. Real, real talk. Then look at Bill. Real talk. Bill in history. Bill making money. How much they paid him for these speeches they go and give? Huh. Have they uh boycotted any and it, Bill and they speeches? Get, and you know what too. Is our, get, 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 Come uh, on, slick some, Willie. Man, some political background, these different dynamics. They just give us these individuals like this is an aberration. They make whether it's Michael Jackson, or Bill Cosby, whatever. They you you you, 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 you who, who create this who create these individuals also. They need to let the record reflect. It was an interview. In fact, in fact it's on YouTube. Um, Daily, uh, Maggie Daly. The name sound familiar? Yeah. Yeah. Rich and M. Daly's wife. Uh, Synonymous uh, with after school. Yeah, after school matters. She it's an interview where she talked about how they had the whole machine set up when Bill Cosby was they said, How did you meet Bill Cosby? She said she was a, she she was she was a, uh, a a reporter for the Chicago Tribune, the gossip column. She they it was they were set up stop at the Playboy Club. They they would set the proper the, the the media um they would do, uh set the report the interview up with them. So it was a whole setup. So when she when he came in, she was working and that goes shows you even the connect like, she worked for the Tribune. This, you about, look uh, at Mr. Hamm. Then, then, then Mr. Then Daly, or hey, arrange arrange weapons for real. This is still going oh, on. Look, this Political. freak. You, yeah, you have to. Big Dang. big freak walking around with a robe on, underage girls 
in the Playboy Mansion. Man, if that would have been a brother, here's they fought up there. They fought up there. They didn't want the they didn't want the street to be there. The chairman Fred. He got he got the street name after him. After they had to fight for the street not to be there. The chairman Fred Hampton. So, and deal is we have the color. We have to. We had, we, not, sometimes we say we do know, but I go this far. It's a combination of nefarious and naivety. It's so many people you know, say who are so detached, who you know, say who don't want to recognize reality. They give us either people with bad intentions or those who are so disconnected or never been connected to us as a, as, as, as a, as a people. They have a psychological background. You go back and you go back and look at these individuals. They were never raised around us. You know, I mean, no connection to our community, and that's the ones they give us. You know what we call them? No. The gatekeepers. The they the gatekeepers. Yeah, they. And and you swear to God that they really plugged and you be connected to... out here on the street. They don't even no, come out no. in the street. If they come to the streets, it's, it's like it's oh, like, please, if they, they, they lost. If they, if they come to the streets, it's like in a in a uh, chemistry lab. Like you open, they don't open the jars. It's like it'll die from airborne disease. If they come into contact with any reality, they'll <laughs> fold like a cheap suit. You know, it's real talk. It's like if you go to chemistry, they say they don't open the jars. They say why? <laughs> if you open it, the air alone. You know what I'm saying? If you bring these individuals who they give us as our spokespersons, if you bring them, a, look, you watch them around. That's why that's why I have certain people around them. Like you, you hear about these different entertainers when they're outside of the United States, they mess up and say certain things because they handlers are not around them. Bro, look at this. Mm -hmm. Now think about this. I was telling some young boys the other day. I said, look how you've been conditioned and programmed. You're gonna run up to somebody who play basketball. You're gonna run up to somebody who act. Pretend. So we're in love with pretenders and actors yeah. and people that play. Yeah, they might play yeah. good. Yeah. They good players, but real people that's making a difference. You don't want their autograph. No. You don't no. want to shake their hand. No. You don't even know them. No. But you know all of the people Can't. that pretend a camera action lights camera Man. on them and that's the condition now, that's why i tell a whole lot of you all Man. you watch television all day when you got that silly stuff right in your family right next door right across the street so why are you so inundated with all that Man. garbage because you are conditioned yeah, you want it cats cats prefer, prefer fiction over facts they prefer uh, Wakanda over the real world, and they prefer to be beige over black. You know yeah, what I'm saying? They do the thing. Everybody yeah. was doing yeah, the thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, how they say it? I don't know. I ain't even doing they, it. They, they, but they're on the reality. They, it's they, gone now. In a few weeks, a few weeks they, they won't even be talking about they, it. Man, no, no. It's you know, a, a, a fad, you know? Real talk. We got to do the real world. Man, let me ask you this. And, and I alluded to it earlier. You were just in the, we got five minutes. You were in the womb of your beautiful mom, who is a wonderful, wonderful black woman. All praise is due to God for your mother, man, who were able to withstand by the protection of God. But you were in the womb. How, how, how many months? I was I was born exactly 25 days later after the assassination. You know, it went down December the 4th. I was born December 29th, you know, and I was, I was there, you know, I mean, I, I, I see the, the first piece of steel I ever came into contact with was not a doctor's stethoscope. It was a Chicago police department's revolver being pressed on my mother's eight and a half month pregnant belly. And they opened her robe. They opened Chairman Fred's robe. See that, her, see that you know now, what I'm saying? So that, that was my first contact with the American sick. judicial system. You know, real that, talk. That's sick. And I was in jail with her before I got this. That was my first jail celly. I was like, I, I had a, a, a prison number before I had a birth certificate, a, a, a social security number. <laughs> real talk. <laughs> real talk. Man, that's God, brother. That oh, I'll take are, aid. That you are sitting right here, and we blessed to be in your company, hey, man. And send him, Long send him live the cool. spirit. Yes, indeed. Of Fred Hampton, chairman. Fred Hampton. Long live the spirit. Of all those brothers and sisters, man, that sacrifice their life, man, that we would have freedom, justice, and equality. Man, long live the spirit of all of them. I yes, mean, indeed. period. And we should never let anybody speak ill of them. Absolutely, cross, man. Cross them T's and dot them I's, literally, figuratively, <laughs> and politically. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> hey man, let me tell you, thank you, bro, for coming in. And you know, I had to say this about the political piece because I know our people cannot continue to go through this same 
you know, song and dance. And they, you know, you've been hearing this stuff. What's in it for black people? What's in it? Man, it was what you put in it. Mm. Ain't nothing in it for black folks unless you do for yourself. Stop that. That's a big game. No, just tell the truth. That's a nice little slogan. Hmm. But that's bag money talk. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't liberation yeah. talk. Yeah. Hell, what's in it for black people? Farmland. You got in that? You talking that? Then be quiet because you playing games. And that's why you're getting exposed. And hey, share this with everybody yes, about the new Black Leadership Coalition. We got my brother here, yes, man, oh, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. But share, share this. And and let me tell you all, stay tuned in this and at this particular broadcast, Intellectual Radio. Yes, indeed. Ain't no telling what's gonna come out of my mouth or any other guest. <laughs> no hey, bro. You ain't wonderful on here. You ain't wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't fantastic mm -hmm. either. Man, call a spade a spade. Stop scratching where you don't itch. That's your problem. And shuffling. Some of you all tomorrow, after it's all over with, you won't hear from you until the next one. Because mm -hmm. you're not really for real. Yeah, I said it. That's right. Anyway. Thank you, bro. Love Thank you, me. man. Love, Love you. Proud of you. Thank Keep you, up the good work, yes, man. Sir. And may Almighty God continue to bless you all. Hey, share this show with some folks. They need to hear it. Ain't no use for sugarcoating it. Call a spade a spade, baby. We out of here. Peace and love. The new black leadership right here live at Intellectual Radio, baby. You dig? You dig?